Before we dive in, make sure to check out NordVPN. Link in the description below to stay safe online. Today we're diving into Bubble.io, the veteran no-code platform that lets you build sophisticated web apps without writing a line of code. I went deep into official features, trust ratings, and feedback, and let's see how Bubble holds up in real-world use. Bubble offers a visual drag-and-drop builder, built-in database, responsive design, API integrations, user authentication, and plugin support. It's known for enabling complete web apps, from MVPs to full-scale SaaS products, and even supports progressive web apps and mobile wrappers. Captera said intuitive drag-and-drop interface, but customization options are limited. G2 uh, gives it a 4 out of 5 stars, uh, says very, very robust. Uh, backend can do almost anything without code, uh, but complex for non-coders. It highlights the power and flexibility, drawbacks, learning curve, pricing opacity, and vendor lock-in. Uh, the Reddit insights go technical versus non-technical divide. Bubble's amazing. Build just about anything good for SaaS. Learning curve and performance. A UX designer explained drag and drop awkward at first, but figured it out with videos. Scaling and vendor lock-in concerns. Vendor lock-in is serious. Costs can skyrocket via workload units. Needs optimization. Also, recent pricing frustrations. They imposed dark patterns during trial changed twice. Refused refunds. Worst experience ever. But still, I built multiple apps confidently saying Bubble is best for 95% of web ideas. Now, pros and cons. Pros go super flexible for web apps and SaaS tools. Uh, drag and drop UI builder with plugins and API support, built in DB workflows and authentication simplify setup, large active community and educational resources, ideal for MVPs, prototyping, and mid sized web apps. Cons steep learning curve, especially back end logic, browser lag on complex apps, scaling impacts and performance, vendor lock in, you can't really export app code, pricing based on opaque workload units that can inflate unexpectedly. Support and refund processes have had major complaints. I'd say the final verdict, Bubble.io shines if you're building web apps, MVPs, marketplaces, internal tools with a mix of visual control and powerful backend features. It's robust for those who put time into mastering it, but it's not perfect. Beware, vendor lock-in, potential billing surprises as your app scales, and underwhelming support or refund um, policies. Overall, top-tier no-code tool that does most things well, but not everything and with some tedium on the roadmap. Thank you so much for watching.